All right, folks, Pacini's 88, we are back playing Blacklist Conspiracy. We are on case number five, The Invisible Hand. Let's see how this one turns out, man. Did you know that this first day of Holland herring season, the fish are caught at a perfect maturity and then kissed with a touch of salt before being express flown to a shop on Houston Street. Debbie and I are heading there now to indulge in these divine specimens, but I won't be able to surrender myself to the culinary experience completely unless a new and serious matter is attended to. A whistleblower named Stephen Chen, who was serving a 30-year sentence for leaking military secrets, was liberated from federal custody last night by persons unknown. I always suspected Chen knew more military secrets, and it seems someone agrees with me. The details of the situation just reek of General Ludd's involvement, but something feels a little off. I've told Agents Keen and Ressler to meet you at the motel where Chen was kidnapped. I suggest you hurry over. I'm famished and would prefer you were hard at work by the time I begin my meal. Yes, sir. Working on it. Agent, I'm glad you could join us. In addition to Chen's empty room, we also discovered two men who have been sedated, disrobed, and then positioned in the rooms next door. Well, we've ID'd the men as John C. Miller, a Judge Advocate General, and Alex Houghton, a mid-level military intelligence agent. Chen was staying at this hotel before returning to the prison, following an appeal hearing. The last thing his guards remember is a strange smell coming through the vents. When they came to, Chen was gone. Let's take a look around the hotel and have a chat with General Miller. Hopefully by then our other victim, Alex Houghton, will have recovered from the knockout gas so we can talk to him too. Alright, let's see what we can find. FBI badge, okay, so parking meter, parking meter, top secret memo. Don't see the FBI badge right off the top of my head, so high voltage, handcuffs, handcuffs right there, safety glasses, I saw those, and then where's the FBI badge? Right there. All right, cool. Well, either our kidnapper got careless, so this top secret memo was left here intentionally. It's encrypted, so we'll need to get it back to the post office. The paramedics have also given us the go-ahead to talk to Alex Houghton as soon as we're done here. Let's do it. I like you, Agent Keen. Analyze. So an hour. I gotta grab a bunch of stars, so I will be back here a little bit later. This is Pichini's 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks. Pichini's 88. We are back. Back now, I was finishing off getting some stars. Let's uh, get the top secret memo. I finished analyzing the secret memo you gave me, and it was for Alex Houghton. The sender didn't sign their name, but it reads like it's one from one of Houghton's superiors. The unnamed superior is congratulating Houghton for his eager work in building the case against Chen, but says that they'll need to accelerate the pace in order to press charges soon. The memo doesn't directly instruct Houghton to do anything illegal, but the tone does make it seem like they're conducting an investigation in order to tie Chen to the leak in a hurry. Oh, if you guys were wondering, um, it's uh, like 115 here in, uh, in Arizona, super hot, and uh, air conditioning is not working very well, so. See? Anyways, thanks for speaking with us, General. Is there any other reason why you think if someone would bring you the same motel convicted whistleblower Stephen Chen just disappeared from? I was in charge of Chen's court-martial, and as well as the appeal today, he leaked a number of documents about our military operations in Iraq, which placed our troops in clear and present danger. I see, and do you have any idea how you were transported to the hotel? No, the last thing I remember standing in the courtroom after Chen had been let out after it following his appeal, the air started to smell funny, then the next thing I knew, I woke up in the motel. We mentioned that you were in charge of Chen's case. Can you think of anything that happened during the case which may have caused someone to target you specifically? Hmm. No, I mean, the case was high profile, but we'd done anything by the book. There was clear evidence that he leaked sensitive information. The facts of the case couldn't have been more firm. Besides, the person who was going to present the new evidence regarding Chen's innocent bowed out of testifying at the last minute. The case against Chen was open and shut. He's guilty. The evidence makes it perfectly clear. But the guy bowed out. He said the case against Chen was airtight, but if there there's evidence that could cast doubt on this conviction, then someone may have an axe to crack. You need to tell us everything you know. Fine. A clerk claims she had evidence that could 
invalidate Chen's conviction, but she declined to testify right before the appeal started. My guess is that she didn't have any evidence after all. I think an agent named Alex Houghton put her up to it. There was something off about him today. He and Chen were friends. It wouldn't surprise me if he tried to influence this clerk. Can you tell us the name of the clerk who had evidence to present on Chen's behalf? Wish I could, but that information is classified. I'm sorry, I wasn't fully honest with you, but discretion is paramount in these top secret matters. I'm sure you understand. I do, and I appreciate how forthcoming you've been. We'll be sure to keep you posted once we find a lead on who did this to you. You might have something to do with it. Thanks for speaking with us, Mr. Houghton. We understand that you were a witness against Stephen Chen during his initial court-martial. Can you tell us more about the case against him? Well, a few months before the leak, Steve seemed combative, down on the job. When classified files from our division began appearing online, I suspected he might be involved, so I told my boss. I like Steve, and I didn't want to report him. I just did what I thought I had to do for the sake of national security, and when I found out they were appealing his conviction, I was ecstatic. Do you have an idea why the person who was supposed to present this new evidence at his appeal back down at the last minute? I wish. I was devastated when I heard the evidence wasn't being presented. I only reported him because I wanted to protect national secrets. I never wanted him sentenced to 30 years in prison. Do you know why somebody abducted you and put you in a room at the very hotel Chen disappeared from? No, all I can think of is that they were targeting General Miller, and I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's always been pretty clear that he was eager to throw the book at Steven. Thanks for your help. We'll be in touch if we have any further questions. The memo that Aram found makes it seem like Alex Houghton was an eager participant in building the case against Chen, but your talk with Houghton makes me feel the opposite. Something about this isn't adding up. Take Agent Torres to get over to Mr. Houghton's house. Maybe we can find something there that will help us determine where his true loyalties lie. Good call, man. Good call. Wow, this place is the messiest hot and story thus far. Let's see if we can find something here to indicate if you saw the truth or just feeding us lies. Actually, from that view, it's not dirty at all. Have they seen my room? Anyways, so we have clock, globe, teapot, suitcase, large chest, and mail. That's not mail, that's not mail, this is mail. And there's the large chest. I actually found that one. Pretty impressed with myself, because that was difficult. Hmm, nice find, but wait. Does it sound like something is moving around in there? We need to crack this log and figure out what's inside. Oh, snap. Is it a person? That's not good. Okay. Well, I can't believe it. There was a person locked inside that chest. Sir, are you alright? No, that maniac attacked me and locked me inside this chest. I've been in there for at least a day. I was sure I was gonna die. Don't worry, you're safe now. Can you tell us who attacked you? Was it Alex Houghton? I don't know who attacked me. They stayed up from behind and knocked me out, so I never saw their face, but it definitely wasn't Alex Houghton. Because I'm Alex Houghton. Well, that doesn't make any sense. We already interviewed somebody claiming to be Alex Houghton. I need to ask you a few more questions so we can get to the bottom of this. What? Got me confused here. I'll answer whatever questions you want, but can we make it quick? I just want to get out of here so I can get some water and eat something and take a long shower. Of course, earlier today we recovered something from a crime scene that belongs to Alex Houghton. If you're him, you should be able to identify. Show Mr. Houghton the item, Agent. Crap. Oh, it's the wallet. Ah, it's top secret. Ah, I knew it. Maybe yeah, I should have. A wallet. Uh, okay, look, I wish I could help you, but I have no idea who it belongs to. Can I go now? Oh, the memo. But this is supposed to be top secret. Where did you get it? How we acquired the memo is relevant to this discussion, Mr. Hahn. What matters is whether or not you can tell us the content of this particular document. It's correspondence from my superiors instructing me to uh, hurry up and finish my investigation so we could stop Chen before he released any more secret documents. My superiors learned that Chen and I had been friendly acquaintances. They wanted to make sure I didn't let my personal relationship with him cloud my judgment. You certainly make a compelling case that you are indeed Alex Houghton, but we need to be sure. As a federal employee, your DNA is on file, correct? We'll need a sample of it, please. 
If it'll help me get out of here sooner, you can have anything you want. So if he is, then who's the other guy? That's the question. Alright, two hours, grab some stars, be right back. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. Let's do this. Well, hey, the results are in, and the DNA is a perfect match to Mr. Otten. So that means whoever we found at the hotel was an imposter. We're going to bring the pretender into custody before he realizes that we're on to him and tries to skip town. Interesting. It's cool. I like to switch him around. It's good to see you again, Agents. Did you find a lead on who attacked me and kidnapped Steven? Drop the act. We know that you aren't actually Alex Houghton. We found the real Alex Houghton locked in the trunk of his house. His DNA confirms that you lied to us. I can see why you might be suspicious of me, but I am Alex Houghton. I promise you. There's definitely a reasonable explanation for this. That scene sounds wrong. No more lies. I'll ask you one more time. Are you an imposter pretending to be Alex Houghton? He's going to say no. It's clear that you're lying. Now tell us who you are and what you know. Fine. I'm not actually Alex Houghton. I'm a member of the Invisible Hand, and we're taking this country back from Imperial scum like you. I kidnapped Alex Houghton and took his place at the hearing to ensure that the new evidence would be presented. All it took was a little bit of time and some stage makeup to pass myself off as him. Unfortunately, the person with the evidence chose not to testify. The corrupt military was going to ship Chen back to the cage they were holding him in, so I needed to take drastic measures. My organization kidnapped Chen before he was returned to his prison cell, and I stayed undercover as Alex Houghton so I could try and find out what happened to the evidence. But it looks like you uncovered my ruse, so the plan is changing again. Now your organization is going to track down the evidence that could free Chen and make sure that it sees the light of day. It's a pretty bold statement for somebody currently in custody. In case you hadn't noticed, Looks like we're holding most of the cards here. Not quite. See, the Invisible Hand has Chen. I'm sure you're aware of just how high a security clearance he was able to attain. Are you really comfortable with all those secrets in their hands? Nice try playing hardball, but once we use our system to determine your identity, we're going to be able to find something to use against you. Oh, you may locate me in your system, but I doubt the discovery will be of any use to you. By all means, feel free to try though. Nuts, man. This guy's crazy. Ah, oh, this doesn't matter. I can't follow it anyways. Oh! Nice luck. Well, he may be a liar, but he was telling the truth about our search being fruitless. He's in the system, all right, under the name John Doe. He somehow effectively erased his own identity. Normally it's our policy not to negotiate with terrorists, but this John Doe was right about Chen. He was a senior analyst with the highest security clearance. There's no telling how much he might he may know. If we don't want the invisible hand to cover national secrets, we'll have to do as he says. We should share what we have so far with Cooper or Reddington, whoever will give us the fastest results. Oh, easy peasy. We know who we're giving this stuff to. Well, Mr. Renton has arrived in New York City and was hoping to enjoy a special meal with the knowledge that you are moving on the Invisible Hand situation. Do you have anything new to report? I do. So the Invisible Hand is holding Chen because the government is potentially obscuring evidence regarding his, in his innocence. Interesting. I'll reach out to some of the contacts to see if we can figure out just exactly what the evidence is and why it wasn't presented in open court. Consulted with Mr. Reddington, he thinks that it would be best for all parties involved if you contain the situation. I suppose it's only a matter of time until the invisible hand struck again. It looks like for the time being, though, you'll have to cooperate with your John Doe and find out why Chen's appeal was dis was disrupted. You should look at the courtroom General Miller was kidnapped from. Perhaps there's something there that will help you determine what the evidence was and who was it meant to present it. We've done it. So anyways, guys, I will continue this in the next video. This has been Bitching Ace 88. Over and out.